Hello and welcome to another video. Apologies, it's been a while again, but um, I have been quite busy with something else that's been going on. Um, but I have actually been busy also making something new in the van. Um, I basically started off with one idea. Uh, I was modifying the front panel of the seat. Um, I mentioned in another video I was going to do it. And when that happened, it actually snowballed into another idea. And I've completely changed something. It's been something that's been niggling away at me and finally I've done it. And um, so I think best thing to do is just to have a look. I didn't video hardly any of the build process because it's actually quite simple. Um, so I'm just going to show you it all kind of done. And um, yeah, we'll take a look. So let's dive into what happened. Okay, so maybe the first thing you'll notice as we look back at the van is the seat is a lot further back. You can actually see a lot more of the wheel arch over there. Before, the, this chair was probably about there. I'll actually pull the chair forward so you can... It was roughly... It was there before. So, didn't have very much space down here because I had the back box in the van. Um, and now I don't have the back box in the van anymore. But what happened was... I cut these out. I said this in another video I wanted to do this just to give me the sort of the opportunity to slide the seat back. So I cut these bits out and I've refelted them and the same on the other side. And um, yeah, so when that happened, I then put the chair all the way to the back. I really like the space. So the amount of leg room that I've got now down here is like huge. There's just so, there's acres of space. I'm just like acres of space down here. And, uh, and I just thought, oh, I really like that. I don't want to lose that now. <laughs> so, so then I started to come up with another idea and this is what happened. So this is pretty much the main change is I've added this little furry strip across the, the, um, the kitchen unit. There's a furry strip connected on there and on the seat, another furry strip. Now, I think you might be able to guess what the hell I'm going to do, but <laughs> I've created an L-shaped seating area. Now, I'll put it together and you'll see what it, what it is. So behind here is the old table. What you do is slot this into here. Next thing you need, so I get the cushions out that I've had before. You get one of these, stick it in there. To lock it all in place. And voila, I've got an extra seat. I've got four really comfortable seats now. So one here, one there, one there, one there. Now you're probably thinking, is that sturdy enough? Just in case it's not, I've got this. So I made like a little stand. And this comes in useful for the second part of the plan. So this is useful, you can whack this under here, just in case, but it is actually sturdy enough as it is. This is one of the big problems in the van was we just didn't have seating for four people. We'd all try and sit three across the bench seat, one on there, and that wasn't good enough really. So now four people can sit really nicely, so we can all sit in here and have a game of cards and things, so that's perfect. So I've still got the little table for there, so that still works out. So. What happens in bed mode? Let me show you what's going to happen next. So use the same tabletop and it's been measured so it will actually fit in this way now. And then the same thing here, just pop them back in there. A little stand. So the little stand goes in there and then you use the other little table. So another thing I can do is actually open the drawer when it's in bed mode. This is something I couldn't do before because the drawer was too close to the kitchen unit. Another great plus is I can carry the, um, the toilet with me wherever I go. Uh, so this fits under the bench seat and it also fits under the bed as well. And as you can see, I can open the drawer next to the toilet. Lovely. 
here's the same shot again but without the toilet in view so as you can see I can get access to the drawer really easy even with that L-shaped seating area in place so as you can see um, <laughs> it's a, it has changed things quite a bit for something so simple but um, I'll tell you what I'm happy with it I think this is pretty cool I know what you're thinking, what's happened to the back box? Well, let me show you what's happened to the back box. Here it is, it's shrunk. It's now a much smaller affair, but I'll tell you what, I've got all the same amount of stuff in here that I did in the back box. This is kind of like the basics. So I've used this uh, kind of bungee netting as well, just to hold everything in. I was considering making a solid one, but I think this is actually gonna be more usable. So as you can see, it's um, it's kind of transformed the inside of the bongo. It's, um, I think it's brilliant. I, this is exactly what I was looking for. I couldn't quite figure out how to do this before, um, but it wasn't until I moved that seat back and then I looked at the space and that old table which just happened to be probably like a half a centimetre on one side and a centimetre on the length out. So I just trimmed that down. I might cover that in this kind of like that felt stuff, like this kind of thing. Um, yeah, and there's another thing I can do now as well. Now I've kind of got this modularity to it. I can use this roof board. I take that down and I can extend the bed on that side and I can actually have a full six foot bed. Um, you just use the uh, the pad from there. I'll probably show you that in a second all set up, but that works really well as well. So if you're even like taller than six foot, you can have that all the way down there. So that side can be a really long um, side. So when you put that in, you do lose the, uh, the footwell space, but hey, you gotta have compromise somewhere. I think one of the great things is actually having been able to take the um the toilet with me everywhere so we can just put the toilet under that seat and uh that won't even get in the way so it can always be there when you put the bed up anyway i'm getting too relaxed here i might have a cup of tea and just sit in the bongo and chill out for an hour or two but um yeah i do hope you enjoyed this video it's been a really quite simple little thing to do actually i say simple it wasn't simple at all i had to rip out the entire kitchen unit so um but it wouldn't have been possible without the uh the flat bed that's what made it key and being able to sort of attach this uh, beam across on that one. So that's been absolutely key to making this work. Um, but I'm not gonna go back from this. I think this is perfect. Um, kids love it because they can all sit in here now and uh, we'll be lovely and warm. Just need a diesel heater now so we can go out camping in, in the winter. This has been quite a big update for me. I can't wait to go out and actually try it uh, in a camping situation. So hopefully I'll go and do that soon. Um, so yeah. I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Cheers.